Hey guys, so it's time to start reading. Because we can. I am so pumped for this readathon. It has honestly been an age since I've been excited for one. Like, I've done readathons this year that I've been kind of like, you know, done it because, like, I don't want to miss out. But also, I'm like, mm, I don't really get too much reading done. But I am keen for this readathon because I think I'm going to be able to do this. I think I'm going to be able to read. This is just a thought beforehand that I may be able to do this. Probably not, but I'm hoping. The first update I actually have started reading this before the readathon because I sneakily did this. So, I'm only up to page 57 but I finished my other audiobook two days ago and I didn't really want to start a new one for two days only to then pick this one up so I listened to this in my car for the past two days and then I also like was finishing the chapter when I get up to it because I seem to only be able to get like 20 or so pages read in my trip to and back from work but I'm up to page 57 because like I like to try and finish the chapter this is my way of trying to read it quicker when I physically have the book but I am liking it so far, but the audiobook is making them sound different than I perceived them from the Gentleman's Guide. Probably the best way to describe Felicity was she really wasn't like emotional, but in this book it seems like she's all like, oh, woe is me and women and blah blah blah. I just feel like she was way more clinical from Monty's point of view, so like coming to the story now, it's kind of like this is a bit of a jarring change. And also they make Monty seem way more annoying. In Monty's point of view, like you know that he's got his flaws, you know that he's got his issues and things that he does, but he still seems like he's a genuine person with a good heart like he just seems to be so like more you know uh, at everything and I'm just like what the hell is happening but I'm definitely going to be reading this up until the last day and hopefully I'll just quickly binge the last however much I'm going to have left of this book as I then try to get the other two books read because they're only physically so I'm going to start with Leia just because it covers more challenges than Sea Witch so I want to try and read some of this today I am excited and it's really fun that I'm finally going to be reading one of these Star Wars novels because I know Claudia Gray does write quite a few but this is the one that I decided to pick up and I think I got this at like Big W or something so I was like oh yeah I'll buy this and I'll read it and I've had it for so long but I am very excited to start this and I hope to get at least a decent amount read today but I do have to go to work later and then I don't finish until 9 15 so we'll just see what I do hey guys I just got home and just look look what the hell? I have a lot of bookish mail that I ordered last week that I was like, it won't turn up yet. I don't have to feel bad about buying so many books, but like, yo, yo, that is, that is a lot. Like, I can unpack all this for you guys, but like, damn. I'm going to try to open all of these quickly because I don't want my vlog to be like too long, but I can't even figure out how to open this one. Where is the, where is the entrance? Oh, it rips. So the first book I've got is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. <coughs> that rip is so good, isn't it? What have we got? <laughs> Next I have Unravel the Dust by Elizabeth Lim. So this is the sequel to Spin the Dawn and I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Oh my god, I finally have Blood and Honey by Shelby Mirren and I'm feeling like you're probably getting the theme here because I bought all the books I mentioned in the 7 on Sunday video about books on my wish list because I got a 10% discount on Book Depository and I'm like, shit yeah, it's happening. So all these books are going to be very familiar but I'm so keen for this. I'm literally going to read this next. Like, I can't wait. Next I have a copy of The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. So I have seen a lot of people talking about this but especially G Swizzle was talking about this lately in a reading vlog and it just sounded really, really cool. And this is very shiny. It's a very pretty book and I'm so excited to have this. Next I have Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Posden. So this is another one I'm very keen for and it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I just I can't wait to read this. It's gonna be so good. Another one that I'm like extremely keen for is Queen of Ruin by Tracy Banghart. Like yes. Oh my god. Like I honestly cannot wait to read this because I need to know what's gonna happen. Next I have The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning and oh my god this is so little. This is like such a little hardcover. Is it the same? <gasps> I'm so devo. I'm so devo that they're like slightly different sizes. Like, why would you not publish your books the same? Like, I mean, yes, they're different publishing houses, but still. I'm feeling like there could be two books in this one because this is like kind of a big package. Oh, okay. Yes, there is. What have I got? 
so I've got Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins and Well Played by Jen DeLuca. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so keen. I'm so excited about my book haul. Like, I have so many books here. I don't know where I'm going to fucking put them, but I'm excited. Okay, managed to find spaces for them, but you know my secret, like, horror of being, like, a booktuber is I have an overflow shelf. Like, I will show you my overflow shelf once I get it open, but it's in this cupboard, see? Like... This whole thing is just three layers stacked of books that don't fit on my shelves anymore. So that is the horror of my life because I've managed to fill this entire wall of books. Then this was the overflow bookcase and now I have an overflow shelf and it's just like, oh my God. And not even that, there's another bookcase in that room that has even more books on it that I have. And I'm just like, damn, like I have so many books and I know I should probably go through and try to unhaul things but I don't because like becoming a booktuber I was definitely one of those people that thought I needed to buy heaps of books so that I was valid but it doesn't really matter but now I have so many books on my TBR but I have at least read more than half of them that is what I'm very proud about and what I keep thinking about but I feel that because I don't know if it's going to be in the next year or the year after I'm going to move I feel like I will do like a solid unhaul of things that I've read and things that I haven't read and just kind of look through things and then hopefully where I move to I may have like a different type of space like I don't really know but it's bad but for an actual reading update in this book I'm up to page 81 so I read chapter 5 and like it's been pretty good it's getting like into the story now so obviously she's gonna go off trying to get to this doctor to try and get him to teach her how to do medicine and then that doctor dude is marrying an enemy from her childhood and now she's got all this shit going like the plot is starting to thicken and I'm just very excited about that and for Leia I am up to page 66 so I did read a little bit on my lunch break and I read like 40 pages while I was at home but then I ended up watching tv and having lunch but I'm actually pretty happy with having that much read but I don't actually know if I'm gonna get any more of this read because I am still gonna go eat dinner even though it's 10 o'clock at night because I want to eat some food. So like my progress for today hasn't been too bad but I feel like I could have read more. Day two of the readathon and I didn't read any more last night and I'm actually going to the gym today so I'm like all ready to go so I'm doing like a mixture of hit and boxing which is the first time they've kind of done this class because it was boxing but then because of coronavirus we couldn't really do it anymore so then they turned it into a hit class but now they're like hesitantly gonna try and bring boxing back and see how it goes and I'm very excited so it's only a 45 minute class and I also I have to take my car in to get a service done so like there's a lot going on this morning and it's also just like not the best weather out there like I don't think it's gonna show you it's like raining it's it's not fun it's not fun out there but I better go because I am <laughs> low-key late but I'm up early as well so I'm hopeful that I'll feel energized after this and then maybe I'll get some reading done later hey guys so it is a bit later so I got back from the gym quite a while ago it's actually three but I was like dying I'm so unfit that I really struggled to get through the class so I've just been very tired since I got home and like I'm in my pajamas now and I'm like just relaxing now and I've just been watching TV and watching Shit's Creek because I'm nearly finished the show and it's just so good and I've kind of been hiding in the lounge room because there is a lot of painting and stuff stuff going on out there because the, the walls are now green this is the best way to show it because like my wall color is a pinky color and then this is green out there so it's just all happening but it's a bit hard to have to paint my room because literally every surface of everything is covered in some form of crap but I have read some of this book but I've gotten up to page 100 because I just said I'd try to get to 100 but now all I've been doing is watching tv and I haven't been getting any reading done so I hope I will read some later but like I don't know it is getting exciting and now it's kind of becoming this kind of like team working school thing because I really wasn't sure what I was expecting with this book because I know it's about Leia and I know it's about her trying to like figure out some stuff because the parents are acting weird and then other weird shit keeps happening and she starts to uncover things and now she's like oh do I need to be the princess or do I need to be like a rebel in the alliance and all this crap but there's like all these kids and they're all doing all these like team building things and I'm just like okay don't really know what's going on but I'm still keen and I haven't listened to any of Lady's Guide because I listened to the Rocky Horror soundtrack on the way in the car today instead of actually listening to the audiobook but I will pick it up probably in a few days when I have to go to work again but at the moment there really isn't much progress so this is where I'm at now guys I'm just doing a face marks because I just decided to I've had this since last Christmas and I wanted to do it but these do just not sit on very well like I feel like there's a way to make it sit very nicely but it's like covering the main areas 
and it's kind of very hard to talk but it's like 9 30 at night and i haven't really been doing much i've watched more of schitt's creek i've got two more episodes to go because i watched the whole show and i instantly started the show from the beginning again so i've nearly finished my second rewatch i just love this show so much and i highly recommend watching it if you have not i'm up to page 130 in my book planning on like trying to read a bit more later but i'll see how it go because now i'm watching like a movie that came out on tv so i think that's going to be very exciting i am going to go back to watching my movie and like keep this on even though it's kind of like low-key itchy like that's probably not good but i just wanted you to see me in my like you know sex mask got my babe for the shot today it is still tuesday and it's nearly one in the morning and you're kicking me now don't kick me this mean i'm so tired i've gotten up to page 166 so i've read 100 pages today so that is progress but I'm so tired like I don't want to read anymore I just want to go to bed and sleep like I feel like I've read like a lot but I also haven't really read that much like I was kind of hoping to have this book finished in the first three days but again I didn't really want to put like a guideline on it so I think in the next two hopefully I should finish it and then at least if I can start see which I'll be happy like I don't think it's going to take me a week because I actually am getting like some amount of book read and it's still getting interesting like shit is starting to happen and like stuff with the rebellion and the alliances and I'm like oh it's a drama but like I can't really talk too much about it because I don't want to spoil the book for you guys but this is fun I'll probably only give it three stars just because it's not like completely wowing me but it's still fun but I definitely want to go to bed because I am just hella tired but I'm still think the readathon's going pretty good God, I really shouldn't be yawning because it's only four o'clock on Wednesday, but like, man, I'm tired and I've just got like nothing sorted today. I need to film because it's going to get late soon, but because of the painting, I can't shower. So I've had to just get dressed, but even though I'm still in my pajamas, but you know, it's this part that's meant to like try and look good, you know, but I have read some of my book. I'm up to page 206, so I'm definitely halfway now and it's very exciting because they've mentioned Obi-Wan Kenobi and then C-3PO came into the story and there's a lot of planets and things and I'm just like, Ooh, these are things that are gonna happen in the movies so it definitely does do you know journey to star wars the last jedi like, there's a lot of info in this that are definitely things that you see in the eighth movie which is pretty cool i haven't listened to my audiobook because i have not picked up my car yet because i dropped it off to get a service yesterday but they're also replacing the tires so i have to wait for them to get the tires ordered in for tomorrow so there's like a lot going on there so I haven't listened to any of my audiobook even though like I wish that I did so I probably won't listen to it tomorrow either because I'm actually going to drive a different car in to get to work for tomorrow morning but I just feel like I'm like a mess at the moment like I'm trying to get some stuff done but I haven't also updated the vlog I also finished Shit's Creek I only had two more episodes to watch and I oh my god I cried so much because it's so beautiful and now I'm just like what do I do now like what else is there to watch that is so wholesome like there's nothing else but I better go and get this video filmed and try and get on top of some things I'm just so tired it is nearly 11 o'clock at night so I do need to go to bed but not much has been happening really I read some more of Leia so I'm up to page 2 251 now which is pretty good I still feel like I don't know if I'm gonna finish this tomorrow like I'm just reading at my like normal amount but I definitely do want to start Sea Witch at least in this readathon and then I'll finish it before the end of the month which is kind of where I'm aiming for but I am still liking the story like there's a lot of things happening like a lot of like stuff is starting to link up and make more sense and Oh god, I'm so tired and like my body is still so sore from the gym. It's just my shoulders because the boxing, like we always try and hit like really hard as well, which it's really nice because when you hear the sounds of like the gloves hitting the mitts, it's like so good, but like, oh god, my body is just in so much pain. But it's good to exercise. Like, I mean, I have been like trying to like eat healthier and exercise and like trying to lose a bit of weight lately. And it's been like nearly a month and a half that I've been doing it and I've lost a about three kilos which I think is pretty good but I still need to like up my game quite a lot because I am overweight for like my height and my age and my everything and I'm like kind of aiming to lose 15 more kilos which is like hopefully something that I can do but I probably have to really step it up but I just want to feel healthier like I don't want to keep getting bigger because I am like already overweight and I'm already getting to that point of like it could turn into obesity if I keep eating the way that I am because I find so much comfort in food so it's really hard because I'm trying to not eat chips and chocolate and all that kind of stuff but my quantities are also like really really big so it's all just really really hard 
but the main thing is that I'm aware of it now and I'm trying and you know like it'd just be nice too to be able to like wear certain outfits without feeling fat all the time and just like tight clothing like not that I am a person that wears tight clothing there's a few things that I own that I can't wear anymore because I feel too insecure in them like to be able to wear some of my favorite things again would just be really nice totally going on tangents you know another tangent is I actually bought a heap of merch of Redbubble for Shit's Creek because I just finished it today and I'm so sad but I love this show so much so I got two t-shirts a scarf and a mug and I'm so excited yes this book I am enjoying it like I still like lately a lot of the books that I've read I didn't know how to rate them and I rated them four stars but then I decided I wanted to rate them three stars and the way I'm feeling about this book is like kind of how I feel about them but then there's also good things but like I have to remember that when I rate a book three stars it's not a bad book I actually really enjoy books when I give them three stars it's just that there's a big element that generally I just don't like and then it's kind of like what the hell and also just enjoyment factor a lot of the time and four stars like I enjoy it but there's still sort of a flaw and then five stars sometimes I even have books with flaws that I get five stars but I just enjoy them so much like why is rating books so hard but I should go to bed it is 11 and I need to get up at six tomorrow for work and I'm not keen but I need to try and get as much sleep as I can so I'll see you guys tomorrow oh uh, hello y'all so I am here guys this is like a really weird like view of my shelves it makes them look like they're really big and it's like oh, ah, it's gonna crush me oh my god i'm so tired which is my general state but it is day four it's day four isn't it it's thursday so it's day four i have not vlogged at all today i haven't really done much of anything today really but i was at work and i came home and i was really tired so um, what did I do? I don't know. I, I watched some TV. I did read some of my book. I'm up to like page 315, no, 314. So, I don't know what I was up to before, but it's something. I've got like 100 pages to read, so hopefully like I can read that tomorrow, but like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I'm really not even that mad. Like, I think my progress has been pretty good because like, I've nearly finished a book in five days, which is pretty good considering I only read one book last month, so like, I'm doing better than I thought, but... Oh, I also got my car back, which was good. So I got my car back and then I had to put fuel in my car and that's like $70 and I'm like, oh my god. But I got my car back so I didn't actually listen to my audiobook because I was in my mum's car this morning to get to work and then I, when I drove home I listened to music because I am slack. So I will try and listen to some of the ladies guide tomorrow on the drive. Hopefully, hopefully I will. I don't think I'm going to get that audiobook done now and I kind of want to like start Sea Witch but also would it be better if I just read the ladies guide like try and get that smashed out once I finish this book like I don't know what I want to do. I feel like my reading is going to extend to like trying to get it done in the rest of the month so I feel like I just want to start Sea Witch so that I can read it but like finish it by November and then finish this book obviously hopefully tomorrow and then I need to finish Ladies Guide so I feel like it's becoming like a into next week thing as well but I also want to finish Anna Dressed in Blood so that's kind of like the three books I want to finish by the end of the month. There's this like readathon happening like called Clear Your Shit Readathon that's going for the next two months of the year where you got to try and like clear up your TBR a little bit and only read books that you own and it's funny because like fucking all this shit there's 400 unread books there so I can't read that in two months god my life has gone so bad with the amount of books that I own like oh my god but it's fun there's like all these challenges and the prompts are you got to try and read like three prompts a week which I will not do so I probably won't be in time for everything but I still think that trying to do this like readathon with these like prompts and just trying to read some random stuff will be good but who knows, but all I know is I'm kind of tired and I think I'm going to early for work again tomorrow so I think I should go to bed but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello! <laughs>
Oh my god, it is day five. Like, who else can't believe that it's day five? Like, where is the time going? I still haven't read a book, but really, I am not concerned. Like, other readathons, I have been way more concerned, but I just, I don't care. Like, I'm just happy that I'm reading anything at all. But I got home from work like an hour ago, but I have not changed. Like, I'm gonna go have a shower, and my parents are going to the neighbors for dinner. So, I'm just going to chill here and like watch. TV and I'm getting very close to my book. I'm up to page 348 and it's only got 410 pages. So like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna finish it and I'm excited. Shit is getting real and I'm also really excited too because it's making me think so much about the Star Wars franchise. People in this that are like in the movies and I'm like oh my god like it's it's intense. Like I think I need to read some of the other books Claudia Gray's written because I think she's written three books about Leia and she really likes writing about Leia but I feel like there's so much happening here that's just been really really good. I've really enjoyed it and I also listened to some of the ladies so I listened to a chapter and a bit so I will probably physically finish off that chapter if I have time today because I still have to get up early because of work and like it's raining at the moment too like it's a bit gloomy out there at the moment so I am like I don't know like when it's gloomy I just feel like having a cup of tea and just watching some TV which is where I'm at and like now that I finished Shit's Creek I don't really know what I want to watch because like that was a rewatch and a while ago I started rewatching Umbrella Academy because after watching season two those things from season one that I wanted to get clarification on but I stopped so I'm up to season two episode four so I should probably finish that so that's at least done. I've been re-watching things when I probably should be just watching new things but it's just easier to watch things again because I know what's gonna happen. Something that I've been kind of wanting to watch though is Gilmore Girls so like will people tell me if it's good because like I know a lot of people talk about it but it's like six seasons of 22 episode seasons so there's like a lot involved in having to watch this show. They've really moved away from how it used to be when like literally all the shows would have 40 minute episodes and have 20 episodes per season which was kind of the standard but now it's becoming more normal to have a 13 episode season and even having 13 episodes of 20 minutes or 10 episodes of an hour or like even eight episodes like they are really progressively making TV shows a lot shorter so watching anything that that is like probably five or six years ago and beyond that is like totally weird to be honest because it's just not a part of anything anymore. I also wanted to re-watch Shadowhunters and I watched four episodes and then I didn't pick it up and it's been so long that it's like disappeared off my currently watch even though it still got me up to date on Netflix so like I don't know what I want to do and I also have been like deciding to watch some movies just to get them off my list as well so like I don't know and I have a lot of TV shows saved that I do want to watch but I like just don't know when it's gonna happen like I'm really gonna figure out what I'm gonna do you probably don't need this rant about just what I want to watch on Netflix but any recommendations that you guys have would be greatly appreciated oh my god guys I did it I finished layer I finished it it is done I actually did end up really enjoying this but like something happened at the end of the book that I'm kind of like oh that's kind of shit but I understand it I don't know what to rate this like I feel like should I give it four stars like because it was actually pretty good I think I should give it four stars like I actually really enjoyed it and I really liked all the Star Wars things and it was very very fun and oh my god something that I also think is really exciting is there's a character in this who is like Leia's like best friend basically by the end of the book and she is the character that Laura Dern plays in the movie so she is like a thing so like Leia and her are young babies in this book like they're only 16 and then by the time the eighth movie has come out like we see them obviously as like older women and everything so like to see their friendship develop in this book and then to see how like they are so close to each other in the movie I like really like it it's really really fun I just think it's great like I am so excited too because I can totally see how she's played that character and then seeing it reflected in this book and it was just that was a really cool point and I really really liked that I'm just glad I finally finished my first read of the because we can readathon and now I just really want to watch all the Star Wars movies again even though that's not where I'm at but I just want to hey guys so it is day six of the readathon and I finished work like Less than an hour ago, I just jumped straight into my pajamas because I just can't even today. But, like, I haven't been reading that much, but I've done a bit of reading. But, guys, the painting situation has gotten drastically more intense, and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> so, you guys would remember the hallway being painted. We have now green walls, and we also have all the white, which looks very, very nice. But then we're going into the lounge room slash kitchen, 
and we have sheets all over the place, a literal scaffold, and bam! Look at Manjul's ceiling, like, oh my god. So this is how it used to look, and this is how it looks now, but this is like the first coat, so it is a bit spotty. But this is very exciting, like just saying, look how bright this side looks, and then look how dark this side looks. Like, you can see the difference, and obviously with the deck, that does take up a lot of light because of the roof, so like you can tell that the camera is even compensating for it, but then it's like, oh! So like, it's looking so different, but like, Everything's been like squished over there and everything, but like it looks so nice. See? What are you doing? I found Azrael. He wants to say hello. We well, aren't in focus, babe. You aren't in focus. There you go. You're gonna bite me. Oh, oh ow, ow. Mm, ow. <laughs> That's tough love right there. Did he get me in the eyeball? Like, oh my god. But yes, it's very, very exciting. Don't really have much of a reading update. I did start Sea Witch, but man, I have no idea what is going on with that book because like it's just started and I thought she was Ursula, but maybe she's not. She's just some like random witch and now there's like this Anna character who I think's like Ariel and I'm like, what is happening? And I did listen to a little bit of the Ladies Guide, but like not much. So I haven't really been reading at all, but like it gets to the end of the readathon. I'm like, do I try? No. <laughs> So it's the last day of the readathon today. Like, who can believe it? It is day seven. I didn't vlog again yesterday because I didn't really do anything. But I am here this morning. I still have to go to work, but I don't actually have to go to work until one. But I am editing my video for seven on Sunday. So it's actually done. I'm just going to re-watch through. So I've got, like, my laptop and my screen set up because, like, I just like having a bigger screen. But... I am pretty much ready for this video to like start rendering and then do everything and get it on the YouTubes and I'm still within time. So this is where I'm at at the morning but I haven't done any reading. I'm still up to page 31 of Sea Witch and 144 of The Ladies Guide so I'm not going to get either of them read but I feel like starting the books is pretty good. Like that's a pretty good outcome for the readathon to have started all the books on my TBR. So I'm ready to go to work. I've actually got makeup on because I only do it on my later shifts because I do not have the energy energy to wake up early to put makeup on but I will put makeup on when I have many many hours before I actually have to start but I have to go to work and work all day I've got my book ready my book sleeve to hopefully read 20 pages on my lunch break but I feel like that's probably all I'm gonna maintain oh my god guys so I'm here to finish off the vlog but it's actually Wednesday the 28th so the readers one ended a couple of days ago but I just didn't end my video on the day of and I just went to bed and then I just took forever to actually get there because like today is actually like my filming day so I've got my tripod and everything set up with my background and everything but I just need to end this vlog. I feel like overall my process with this readathon was pretty good like I completely finished Leia by Claudia Gray and I did end up really enjoying this. I gave it four stars. It was really fun and just really brought to light a lot of things about Star Wars that I really didn't think about with the movies that I was just like that is actually such a good point. So I enjoyed this and I am excited that I have finally started to read some Star Wars books but it's not something that I'm really actively wanting to like buy more of and pick up more because I'm trying not to buy a lot of different books and I feel like if I was gonna add more Star Wars books to my collection it would really not help with all the things going on behind me but I am really excited that I have finally read this one and it's not on my TBR anymore and with the ladies guide I did end up getting up to page 182 so that's still pretty good progress I have read a bit more of it since then I'm up to page 208 and that's just me trying to listen to it so I am basically halfway with this book but from what I've read I did enjoy this book I do feel like the voices of the narrator do make the characters seem different to me though from like when I read Gentleman's Guy because I read that one physically but I'm still really enjoying it and like seeing what Felicity's doing and how she's always so feminist about everything but also like her friend Joanna she is very much like you know she's happy to be a wife she's kind of girly but she's also really smart so I think the ideas that this book is bringing to light is like just because you like reading or just because you want to go into medicine doesn't mean you can't be girly it's just interesting that Felicity doesn't understand that women can actually be both like they can be smart and girly and that is a really interesting concept in this book but a lot of the characters though it's like seems like a lot of weird shit's going on and I don't really know how I feel about the Alexander Platt doctor dude when you meet your idols a lot of the time they disappoint you so I'm a bit wary for Felicity from that point of view but it's very interesting there's still a lot more to go on and I'm just very keen to keep going with this and hopefully finish it this month and with Sea Witch I only got up to page 50 but I'm actually up to page 146 now because I've been really trying to read this and it's actually getting like really more intense so this one I'm basically halfway in as well 
so it is very interesting and I feel like I know where the story is gonna go because I've heard that it is an Ursula retelling so I can kind of feel that the main character is maybe gonna become Ursula but like I don't know I definitely see though there is a little mermaid retelling happening but it's not happening to the main character like she is watching it happen so it's kind of cool that it is still a little mermaid retelling but it's called sea witch so there's got to be some witch coming out of somewhere so either it's going to be the main character or some other character is going to become the sea witch but I am really excited that I have finally picked this book up and I've had it for so long but it's been a really really good read and I still am so obsessed with this cover and I just love it. But over the course of the three books I did end up reading 621 pages in a week which is reasonably well. Like I think that is a decent amount of pages. I think I did really well and I just had a really fun time. Even though we can't travel anywhere I at least got to travel in some of the worlds of these books and I just had a really great time. But anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed my vlogs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!